The scriptures declare, and I'm sure you know this, many of you by heart, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. And then the promise. Surely, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. What a most beautiful description of God's presence. It doesn't say he that visits. It says he that lives. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Do you know what can happen today to you? Do you know what can happen to us if we'll enter into that place? I promise you, every chain will fall. Every sickness will go. That's what the scripture says. And all you have to do is simply see Him. Just see Him. And then we read, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. No harm can come to you. No harm whatsoever. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Think about pestilence striking when thousands are falling all around you. Nothing happens to you. All because of God's presence. Just because of God's presence. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. It shall not come near thee. Shall not come. It shall not come. Lift your hands and thank him. It shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold. You'll see it. It just won't touch you. You'll see it, it will not come near you or your children. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. God calls when pestilence strikes, when destruction strikes. He calls that the reward of the wicked. There's a reward to the wicked, but it shall not come nigh thee. What is it? He that dwelleth in the secret place. Now there's a law there, there's more than just words. He that dwelleth in the secret place. It's a place that nobody knows about, a place nobody understands. Secret. Who is it that doesn't know? The enemy, his host, the wicked, they know nothing about it. They don't even know where it is. They don't even know how to find it. But God says, he that dwelleth in it, 
there is a place that you and I can find. And once we find it, all that's promised in that psalm will be yours. Every promise. Can you think about a life? Can you think of, about a life that says, There shall no evil befall thee? There shall no evil befall thee? Neither shall any plague, no plague, no sickness even walks into your house? Now that's something. Think about it. We all read the psalm and have memorized it, but we don't really think about what it, it's saying. Think about it. No plague shall come nigh thy dwelling. Not just you. No sickness in your house. No sickness in your house. No evil shall befall thee. Now just a moment here. I've known some precious Christians that have had troubles and evil and plagues. But here it says no evil no plague that's some promise and it's ours and it not only says that it goes on to say he shall give his angels charge over thee besides no evil and no plague you'll have angels in your house To keep thee in all thy ways. They'll keep you from having an accident on the highway. They'll keep you from... They'll keep you from harming your body. For it goes on to say... Now this is the Bible. I'm not just reading some fantasy book. This is God's word. They shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot foot against a stone so you don't bump your foot how would you like to live like that that's what it says lest thou dash thy foot against a stone but with the same foot that God protects, it says, you will tread upon Satan. That's what it says. Right, the next thing, right after that, God says, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lions and the dragon shall thou trample under feet, under your foot. So he tells you on one hand, he tells you on one hand, I'll keep your foot from even hitting a stone so you won't hurt it. But I'll use it to step on the devil's neck. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I'll set him on high meaning your rule because he hath known my name he shall call upon me and I will answer him I will answer there'll be there'll not be a day not a time God won't, will not answer your prayer you'll never have to say why doesn't God answer my prayer because he'll answer every time I will answer him I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him, honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation.